Hello friends, do you know what a fire triangle is? Any fire needs three things. One is heat, second is oxygen and third is fuel. If we remove any of these, the fire stops burning. Let us perform a simple experiment to understand this concept. Let me first tell you what all will we need for this experiment. I have an old tray here, two candles which I have fixed on the tray, a glass which is slightly higher than the length of these candles and a glass bowl. I've also got a matchbox here. Let me first light these two candles. the red one and the yellow one. We will cover the red candle with this glass and see what happens. As you can see, the red candle was put out when we covered it with the glass. Why did this happen? I told you three things are needed and one of these is oxygen. When I put the glass on the candle, I cut off the red candle's oxygen supply. It continued to burn for a few seconds more because there was some air under the glass. Once the red candle had consumed the oxygen under the glass, it stopped burning. The yellow one continues to do so because there is sufficient oxygen all around. Going by this logic, if we were to cover a candle with a bigger bowl, there would be more oxygen under the bowl and therefore the candle should burn for much longer. Let's try this out now. Let's light this red candle again. Okay, we'll now cover the red candle with the bowl and the yellow one with the glass and see which one burns for a longer time. I'll place the bowl first. Okay, and now the glass. The yellow one has gone out, but the red one continues to burn. As it burns, it's using up the oxygen which is available under the bowl and once it has finished that oxygen supply, it will be put out. Yes. So, what did we learn today? We learned what a fire triangle is. Three things that keep a fire going. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. Remove one of these and the fire stops burning. Is there a practical application of this? Indeed there is. Whenever we smother out a fire, say we cover the fire with a blanket, what are we doing? We are cutting off the oxygen supply. Some fire extinguishers also use the same principle. They give out dry powder or foam which covers the material that is burning and prevents it from coming in contact with oxygen. So much for now. We will do another experiment soon.